Today I'm doing a face and body paint tutorial for the WWE superstar and current NXT champion, Finn Balor. His demon paint has been showcased in many different forms, but this is the design I chose. For a list of products used in this tutorial, check out the video description below. Start by sketching out the large teeth with a white eyebrow pencil. Special thanks to these YouTubers for requesting this look. I had a lot of fun with it, and plan on doing more wrestling looks in the future. Extend the two middle teeth down over the lip and halfway down the neck. The lower teeth should start at the base of the neck, or just below it. When the teeth are complete, sketch an outline for the spike design that follows an upside down arch from shoulder to shoulder. This outline will be filled in with red later. Use a medium pointed brush and white face paint to fill in the shapes of each tooth. I used Classic White by Snazaroo. Many of Balor's demon designs are done using an airbrush, but I figured not everyone has access to that type of equipment. Essentially, the teeth are extended teardrop shapes. You can apply many layers of paint over them for a more opaque finish. Each tooth should be lined up so the points enter a negative space. I painted 8 teeth on the top row and 7 on the bottom. Don't get too hungry with those new teeth. You might start eating everything in sight. Nom 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 nom. Using red face paint, outline the upper chest spikes and fill them in. Make the spikes different sizes, all following the curved shape. Continue applying red above the upper teeth. Follow the curves, leaving a quarter inch gap between. The design extends up to the temple with a point towards the eye. This is what the red face paint design should look like. Once the chest and face design is filled in with red, apply black below the design down to the lower pec area. Paint large points on the left side up to the shoulder and paint a sleeve-like cutoff on the right side. Keep in mind Balor wears sleeves to cover most of his arms. Continue using black to fill in every space between each tooth. I used a small pointed brush for the finer details and a medium pointed brush for larger areas. Stay as close to the white shapes as you can and keep the lines nice and crisp. Continue covering all skin with black. This includes the entire neck and ears. Finalize the two teeth in the center by completing the lip area. This is one of the most important parts of the look. Finalize the look by following the top of the red zigzag shape in black. Fill in the entire forehead, temple area, and eye area in black. This includes painting the upper and lower eyelids. Your look is complete. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, and check out more tutorials by me.